how are thyroid disorders diagnosed? What do you do to mm -hmm. actually pinpoint what the problem is? So doing um, making a diagnosis of thyroid it can be tricky I think the first thing to do is obviously do a, a good history and physical listen to the the symptoms that the patients are having feel their neck see if they have any enlargement in the neck any symptoms or signs of a thyroid disorder and then once you know what you're looking for then there are good blood tests that we do to check for it so we check uh, the main blood test is called the TSH mm -hmm. and then we also check sometimes the the level the circulating thyroid levels which are the T3 and T4 levels sometimes we'll also check antibody levels as well looking for um, these underlying autoimmune conditions. So is it true that if your lab work is normal, you can still have a, a thyroid disorder? <laughs> I get asked this a lot by my <laughs> patients. You know, the bottom line is you may have an underlying, you may have Hashimoto's, which again is that the autoimmune condition, which I know we're going to talk about antibodies, that. right? Right. Um, but if your thyroid function is normal, if your TSH is normal, the T3 and T4 are normal, it means you, your thyroid is working well, that you really don't have a thyroid issue and you don't need medications. The good thing is that those blood tests are very, um, they're very tested, they're very reliable. And so if those are normal, that means the thyroid function is normal.